I'm being a little lazy tonight. I don't much feel like typing. Um, went out for a while, you know. I went to Aladdin's with uh, Sarah Wolf and uh, met up with Quan Boa and a couple of her friends. Had a nice time. Uh, smoked an argile, had a little tea. It was nice. Um, fortunately, we also got some bad news about Marianne's mom today. She's having some more medical problems. Um, we're not sure what's going on with that. Uh, has to do with blood clotting in her leg. One thing after another. Um, big thing I've been thinking about today is um, basically based on an argument I've been having on uh, the uh, end creationism community. Um, you know, people put it this way. I, I don't think I think the time for sort of well-reasoned intellectual discussion with uh, the foot soldiers of creationism, as you as it were. Um, is long past. Um, they will not regard evidence or well-reasoned arguments. Um, these are the products of evil in their minds. Look, here's my thought on this. Um, people connect uh, on a visceral level. Uh, people in America, I can't speak for the rest of the world, but people in America do things at a gut level. Um, I think the fellow who did Flock of Dodos, uh, the movie, I can't remember his name now, but makes a very good point about this. Um, scientists tend to over-rationalize and intellectualize everything and because they, we have been trained to regard evidence, uh, be objective. Um, we think other people will do that, but most people, especially those with a fundamentalist religious bent, aren't ever going to do that. Um, the only way, I think, to, in a sense, save this culture um, is really to fight back at the same visceral level that people like uh, Ann Coulter use. Um, I'm not saying to falsify anything uh, and lie like so many on that side do. Um, but what I am saying is that, really, if you look at our culture, the intellect intellectualism is not a strong strain in America. It never has been. <coughs> um, people want strength, not intelligence. And I think that until scientists, supporters of science, um, are willing to stand up at that level and fight at that level, that it, science will, scientific thinking, critical reasoning, will continue to lose ground in this country. Um, and I think the fact that George Bush is in the White House is a very good example of how far things have come. Um, you know, this is a man who uh, really seems to want, in terms of science, to restrict scientific inquiry, uh, to make sure that it keeps in conformity with theology. Um, there are a lot of people who want a theology in this country, or theocracy in this country. Uh, I think it's unfortunate, but I think it's time to draw the line. Um, and I know that I'm not going to play nice anymore. Um, I haven't for a while. I'm not talking about doing anything violent, stupid, crazy, anything like that. But I do think it's time to stop intellectualizing uh, about what this conflict is really about and to start standing up and fighting. And uh, otherwise, it's not a question of reason versus blind faith. It's a question of people with a spine versus wimps. Um, and America doesn't like wimps, and uh, I think it's time to stand up and, and prove that people who are in science aren't necessarily, you know, the kid you hated in high school who had the horn-rimmed glasses and, uh, you know, couldn't play sports. I mean, it's time to honestly give it back. Um, time to do it. Um, well, anyhow, that's just something I've been thinking about. Uh, I'll probably write more about it later. I don't think I have a choice but to write more about it later. But uh, I wanted to kind of just record my thoughts and try something a little different tonight. So, thanks. Good night to whoever's watching.